Time to learn some newborn baby vocabulary. Now, previously, we've looked at pregnancy vocabulary and childbirth vocabulary. But if you missed out on those lessons, don't panic. I have linked them down in the description box below so you can catch up. And while you're down in the description box, you will notice that today's lesson is sponsored by Lingoda. And I'm very excited to announce that next month they will be starting another language marathon. A chance to take three months of language lessons for free. But more about that a little later on. So you have a newborn baby. Now the term newborn can be used on its own. So newborn can be a noun rather than an adjective. You have a newborn baby or you simply have a newborn. I have a newborn. If I'm having something delivered, I will leave a note for the delivery driver saying, I have a newborn, please be patient as it might take me longer to answer the door. If you do have a newborn, you will often be asked whether you are breastfeeding or bottle feeding. So do you feed your baby breast milk or formula, which is a special milk made up from cow's milk and lots of additional good things for your baby. Some people do a combination of the two, a little breast milk and a little formula. I am breastfeeding, but I also express my milk using a breast pump. So I pump the milk out manually with an electric breast pump and I store it so that I can feed my baby with a bottle later on. So I'm bottle feeding, but with breast milk. Now when using a bottle, you really have to think about which kind of teat or nipple you will have on the bottle. They come in all sorts of different levels of flow. So a newborn baby will need a teat that has a slow flow so they don't eat too much or choke on the milk. And if you are using bottles, then you will have to sterilize them using a sterilizer, perhaps. If you pass me an empty bottle for me to put in my expressed breast milk, I may ask you, has this bottle been sterilized? Another item that you will want to sterilize is a dummy. A dummy. Now, a dummy is referred to often as a pacifier or in more recent times, a binky in American English. But in British English, we still commonly refer to it as a dummy. Weaning is when you start taking them away from drinking breast milk and formula and putting them onto real food, often referred to as solids. Is your baby eating solids yet? Have you introduced solids? The decision to stop breastfeeding, to wean your child and introduce solids may come as a result of the child teething teething. When a child experiences teething, it means that they are growing their teeth out. Their teeth are coming through. Some women are not comfortable with their child breastfeeding when they have teeth coming through. But something I can say from experience is breastfeeding is very helpful as a comforter to your child, especially when they have to have things like vaccinations vaccinations. Vaccines are given to babies from the very first day and they have many of them as they grow and these vaccinations can be quite distressing for the child. So popping them onto the breast for a quick comforting feed makes them feel better when they have those horrid, horrid needles stuck into their legs. Let's talk about mum. After having a newborn, mum enters a period called post partum, the postpartum period, the time after having a new baby. This time can be very emotional. Many women experience it ups and downs, and some women even feel depressed. Depression in a postpartum period is called postnatal depression, or sometimes shortened to PND. Have you ever suffered with postnatal depression? It is very common. If breastfeeding, the mum will also have experienced engorged breasts. Engorged. This means when your breasts are so full of milk that they become hard and painful and swollen. They are engorged and easily relieved by expressing some of the milk or breastfeeding. 
If you have chosen to breastfeed, you'll be wearing a special type of bra. This is called a nursing bra. It will obviously be bigger than your ordinary bras because your breasts will be a lot bigger. And they also have special clips just here so that you can unclip and get easy access to the nipple without removing the whole bra. And within the bra, you'll have to wear something called a breast pad. These are special absorbent pads that go inside the bra, especially to catch the leaks of milk so that you don't make a mess of your clothing. If, like me, you had a caesarean, a C-section, then you will have a caesarean scar. So people might ask you, how is your scar? Is it healing well? Is it large? Is it small? Now enough about mom, let's come back to baby and the items that a baby wears. Now often babies wear a vest, a cute vest with no arms or legs and often they have poppers at the bottom so you can easily access their nappies. It's nappy in British English, diaper in American English. Also we have a baby grow or all in one. It looks like this, with long arms and long legs. Now because baby's nails are very sharp and they scratch themselves, we often put them in scratch mitts. Tiny little mittens to cover their hands to stop them from making a mess of their faces. And some parents like to put little booties on their babies, tiny little boots. They are very cute, not very practical, but still sweet to look at. From about nine weeks old, babies begin to dribble a lot. And in order to catch the dribble and to stop it from going on their clothes and wetting their vests, they often wear a bib, a bib, just a piece of material that goes around the neck. And for the moments when they throw up or vomit or are sick, you will need a muslin, which is just a piece of cloth that's nice and soft absorbent, ready for those little sicky moments or snotty moments or even dribble or when you spill food. Very handy. We have literally about 50 muslins around our house to catch all of that stuff. When wrapping your baby up to keep them nice and warm, particularly for bed, we are often advised to use a cellular blanket a cellular blanket. And these are blankets with little holes in them so that they are breathable, so your baby doesn't get too hot. This is what they use in the hospitals and this is what they recommend you use for your baby. A lot of babies these days have special baby sleeping bags, sometimes referred to as grow bags. And many babies have a thermometer in their bedroom so you know the temperature and you know how to dress them for bed. Now a baby's bedroom is often referred to as a nursery, a nursery. And a baby's bed is called a cot or a crib, a cot or a crib. And a very small basket type bed that you put a newborn in is called a Moses basket, a Moses basket. For the times when you need to be mobile, you will put a child into a pram that's sometimes referred to as a buggy or once they're sitting upright, a push chair. If you're taking them out in the car, they'll need to go into a car seat. But if they're just hanging out in the front room, you might want to put them down in a baby bouncer. This year, thousands of students have learned a language with the help of the Lingoda Language Marathon. But now it's your turn. Sign up today and you can boost your language skills in just three months and earn yourself a 100% refund on your course fees. All you have to do is take one class every day for three months. That's 30 classes a month for the full marathon and 15 classes a month for the half marathon. Marathon runners will receive face-to-face -face lessons with online native speaking teachers. You can take courses in English, German, French, Spanish, or if you're trying to progress your career, then you can take the Business English course. The marathon runs from the 21st of January until the 20th of April. And if you want to take part, you have until the 14th of January to sign up. But for those of you who are early birds or eager beavers, you can sign up right now and receive a very special offer. Mm -hmm. 
beat the rush, and get the best class times. Quick. Opting for the Pay Now special also means that you don't have to pay an entry fee. But if you miss the Pay Now special, don't panic. That entry fee is tiny and I can even give you a discount. All you have to do is use this code. So ladies and gentlemen, if 2019 is the year that you are going to smash your language learning goals, then the Lingoda Language Marathon could be exactly what you need. Why not click on the link in the description box below to find out more. Please do make sure you read all the terms and conditions and very best of luck. So there you are, some essential vocabulary to use when talking about newborn babies. Now if you know any other words or phrases that you think is vital and must be added to this list, then please do add it to the comment section down below. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please show your appreciation by giving it a like. And if you have a few spare minutes, then why not check out one of these other lessons like this one or this one here. This one is a good one. <laughs> Until next time, guys, take care and goodbye.